Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Sektivet, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can perform swiping or scrolling gesture in APM. I mean, this is not a relative change to APM 2.0, but the change related to uh, APM Java client 8.x, right? So, uh, so yeah, it's gonna be uh, pretty simple, and uh, yeah. So let's. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I highly, highly recommend to watch them before watching this video, right? Let's go to the IntelliJ now. And here, so maybe first I will explain what I'm going to do. So let me open the emulator and this is the API demos app that we have been using so far. And if somebody clicks on views and here you can see, you can perform the scroll, right? And uh, what I want to actually do is basically, um, you know, I want to find the center of the screen here, okay? And then I want to press my finger at the center of the screen. And then I want to move, drag my finger here to, to one by fourth of the screen size, which means let's say this entire screen is thousand, okay? Then I want this to be like 250, the Y, okay? Let's assume the X axis, it is 500, okay? And the center will be, 250 comma you know 250 okay, right x and y both are 250 here the x will be 250 and the y will be 500 okay this is center of the screen right the total is thousand this will be 500 so this is what i want to do so these coordinates are not hard coded because uh, in apm you might use different devices different devices have different sizes so you cannot hard code values so you need to find this uh, values uh, using get size method and then you have to you know use them you should not be hard coding it but just for an example i'm saying so if this is zero comma zero okay the center point would be 250 comma 500 and the end point would be 250 comma 250 right that's what we're going to do. let me clear all the drawings and we want to perform one just just one scroll okay okay so now, um, so if you want to find, so this is the this is the app launching code. This will launch the app and this will click on views. These are all very basic stuff, so I'm not going to cover it. So now I want to uh, finger input to perform this, right? So so this is of going to be type touch and this is just finger one, right? I, I, I highly recommend to watch the previous videos before watching this, right? Where I have explained what is this finger one and all. Now I want to perform a sequence of events to perform this right so i want to perform a sequence of events using this finger one you can give initial length of zero or one whatever that you like so this you know you can give something like this okay now i want to perform a lot of events right so first thing that i want to do is you i want to move my finger create pointer move uh, duration dot zero so which means let's say if you are if you are here, then you, you have to move your finger to the center of the screen, right? You want to do that. So to do that, you don't, you you know, you don't need any time. You can quickly move here. There is no impact of it because you are not touching the screen, right? So you can go as fast as possible. And then where do you want to do this? I want to take reference of the viewport. Viewport is something that the actual screen that you are seeing, okay? And then you have some of the stuff that says, uh, okay, where you want to move your stuff? I want to move to the center of the screen, right? So let's find the center of the screen. So if you have driver uh, dot uh, manage dot window dot get size. So this is going to get you the mobile size, okay? So if this is giving me the size, uh, I want to have start x, okay? Where start x is, I want to start my scrolling from here, right? The center of the screen. So all I have to do is size dot get width by two. That's it. Okay. And then the start y is basically size dot get height by two. Okay. And then I also want start start x. Then I want the index. Index the x axis, I am not moving anything because this is a vertical scrolling or swiping, right? So, in x axis, I am not changing anything. Maybe I'll just put it as y. In y axis, I want to multiply by 0.25. That's it. Okay. 
So if you have 1000 as the length, and if you want to get the one by fourth of the size, then you just multiply by 0.25 or you can divide it by four, whatever that you feel comfortable, you can do that. So this one is, is not int. So I'll just basically wrap it to int. It says provided is double. That's what I'm doing, right? So, okay, this is not needed. Yeah. Just a minute, guys. I think I'm missing some brackets. Cast expression to int. So yeah, this is now cool. And int end yes. Size dot. There is no change, right? So this is same as this. So I can simply say this is same as dot x. So there is no change in the stuff. Good. So now I can just simply put dot x. Sorry, dot x comma start y right that's where i want to move my finger once i move the finger there i need to press the finger so create pointer down so i want to put my finger on the screen and this is mouse button dot uh, left i want to click my left button right once you go there you want to press your button once you do that you can you can basically wait for a few seconds or you can just start moving so maybe i'll put a wait for just small amount of seconds right uh, of mill is 200 right once i waited for a few seconds i need to move my finger but you know my finger is touching the screen but still i want to move it so that's what i'm going to do finger dot create pointer move and then i want to take a little bit of time for this maybe 100 milliseconds and then It's also origin dot viewport. I want to move relative to the viewport and the index where I want to move. I want to move to the index and the end y. Okay, that's it. And after that, I want to add another action of lifting my finger up. Create pointer up. That's it. Whatever the finger that I pressed before, uh, that is here. I want to lift my finger up, and this should perform this stuff scrolling for me. So I, all I have to do is driver dot perform. Uh, it accepts collection of sequence, but I have just sequence. So I can say collections dot a singleton list, and then I can pass the sequence. That's it. So now let's try to run and see whether the scrolling is happening. Again, if you want to scroll to a specific element, you need to check whether this element is displayed. Uh, if it is visible, then you have to stop scrolling and all that. So that logic you can construct it yourself or I have an another playlist where I have co covered this. I will leave that particular link in the description. If you, if you notice, this has actually scrolled. So all you have to add is few extra conditions like if the element is visible, no. If it is not visible, scroll again and then perform the search again. If it is not visible, scroll again and then perform the search again. So the, I have to do this. I will leave that particular video in the description where I have scrolled till a particular element. Again, guys, if you want to perform a horizontal swiping, then just change the X and Y axis. That's it. Your Y coordinate will remain the same, but the X coordinate will get changed. That's it. So, so yeah, I hope that you will find this video useful. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye-bye from Mudan. Bye.